Welcome back guys, it's Joe with DIY Cold Plunge. If you're new here and you're buying a pump for the first time, I highly recommend going the Danner route, either the 950 or the 1200, I've got links below for those. But if you already have one of these Intex pumps in your possession, here's how to make it run 24 seven to help with filtration, sanitation, and just make your whole system run more efficiently. The main thing you're gonna need for this project is a GFCI replacement plug. Make sure that you get the three prong version. I've got an Amazon link in the description below for the one I used. Next, you'll need a white wire stripper, a screwdriver, something to cut the wire with, and a utility knife. The first step is to take your pool pump and cut the timer plug right off. You won't be needing that anymore, so you can go ahead and throw that away. Now you need to cut back and expose each individual wire. I do this with a utility blade, but be careful not to cut into the actual wire itself. If you do, no worries, there's plenty of cable to work with, so just peel back that outer layer further so you can get a clean cut with all three wires. After you peel it back and cut off the excess, you'll want to see which of the three connector pieces fits the most snugly. For me it was clamp C, but test this out and make sure it's the same for you. With the main wire fed through, use the notch on the connector piece to help find out where we need to cut our wires to fit. After cutting my wires, they came out to about one inch of exposed wire. And before I get too far, the white wire will go with the silver screw, the green will go with the green screw, and the black will go with the gold screw. With the length of your wire trimmed to size, it's time to take your wire stripper and using the 14 gauge hole, expose some copper on each strand. There's a plate below each screw that you'll want to insert the copper into and then tighten it down. So familiarize yourself with this on the plug and then we'll attach everything. Put the exposed copper part of each wire under each plate and then tighten down to secure. With each wire secured in place, it's time to take the strap to hold the entire cable in place in the plug. All you need to do is take the little plastic piece and two screws and tighten that down to secure it. I kind of had to work back and forth between each screw to get it nice and snug. Now the only thing left to do is take the back plate and secure it with screws. Put it in place, make sure the notch on the cable and everything fits really nicely, and then tighten it with the four remaining screws. And once you've done that, you've successfully replaced your timer plug with one that will go 24-7. All that's left to do is plug it in and let your pump go to work. Now there is the risk of running this pump into the ground. I've got reports in my Facebook group of people doing this hack and then their pump dying after two weeks or a month. I'm gonna run this test on my outdoor stock tank pool and we'll see how it goes. I'll report back later. So basically do this at your own risk. If I was building for the first time, I would save the money, bypass the two different hacks that you have to do on these Intex pool pumps and just go the Danner route. I've got links to those in the description below. You can also get them at DIY Cold Plunge. Thank you for watching guys and we'll see you at the next video.